What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to talk about a few different horror topics in this video here today. We'll talk about Alien Earth, Scream 7, Halloween, and Smile 2. Now, just to start off here with the upcoming Alien series, it's coming to Hulu, I believe. We got our first set of plot details on Alien Earth, which again is the upcoming Alien TV series. It says when a mysterious space vessel crash lands on Earth, a young woman and a ragtag group of tactical tactical soldiers make a fateful discovery that puts them face to face with the planet's greatest threat in fx's highly anticipated tv series alien earth from creator creator noah holly now the show is reportedly set 30 years prior to the events of alien and with that kind of knowledge it's not hard to start theorizing that whatever happens on earth in this show is what leads to Waylon yutani's plan with the nostromo and what they ended up encountering on the or during the events of the first alien film as of now the only cast member making me interested is the windsor college windsor college's very own timothy oliphant i am going to watch this show right now just for him <laughs> and because of course it's part of the alien franchise so we'll see what happens with this show it's supposed to come out in 2025 on hulu i'm not really too sure on that part because this description mentioned fx so is it going to be airing on fx and then be available on hulu the day after is it going to be doing something in the same vein of what chucky was doing during season two we'll just have to wait and see but yeah with a with a plot description like that it's not it's not hard to start theorizing that whatever happens in the show is what triggers Wailing yutani's efforts to try to retrieve one of these things from space that's all I can see happening right now, and we'll just see what comes of this show. Now we need to talk about Halloween. iHorror reported that a Dr. Loomis show of sorts is in early development. Now, I don't know how, how this project can work, because based on what I've looked up, it seems to be from a, a, pair, a pair of indie filmmakers. Now, I don't believe this team is affiliated with the folks cooking up the other TV show that we know is 100% going to happen. But this Loomis show of theirs, if they can get Hulu to get behind it, would explore that iconic character during the years prior to meeting Michael Myers. The concept sounds innocent enough, but when considering my own stance when it comes to characters like Sidney Prescott, do I need to explore every aspect of a character of a character's life just because they are interested in the following because I like them? The answer is no. L Loomis as a show could be quite compelling and I'd be all in for watching it, but I don't think I'd ever conjure up this idea myself is all I'm getting at. Dr. Loomis's life prior to Michael it's something I'm fine just imagining on my own, just like I'm fine imagining Sydney's life post Ghostface. It's not necessary to see her life as a wife, a mother, etc. And it's not necessary to see Loomis studying other children. It's just not. That doesn't mean it won't be good, but there's just certain things about characters and story that should remain up to your interpretation, up to your imagination. Filling in all the gaps doesn't always pan out well is what i'm getting at and while the show could be good i just don't find it all that necessary and again i don't really think it's going to happen because i don't see how this could i don't see how this could work considering the other show that we know was actually on the way 100 percent. now we're going to talk about scream 7 i believe a new scream 7 rumor has started making its way or making its rounds online and that rumor is pertaining to us getting something newsworthy this month now, the reason I don't believe this, especially if it's related to the cast, let's just pretend it's related to the cast. The reason I don't believe this is because Kevin Williamson is supposed to start shooting his new series, The Waterfront, this month. And I would imagine he wants to keep a lid on anything else about Scream 7 that could cause a problem right now while he gets ready to shoot this series. Actually, cameras may have already started rolling at this point. I firmly believe that Spyglass, Kevin Williamson, and the trades are 100% in communications with one another, and we won't get a single bit of cast news until December or even after filming wraps. Now, I will say this. If a certain report comes out with a certain set of cast members, I will just quickly press the upload button because I have heard a cast. This cast is not online. It's not going to be online. I do, as of right now, say that I find it to be quite realistic and believable but i haven't confirmed these people yet so i'm not going to start spreading their names just yet but if it is true i would say this is a well-rounded cast for a screen film and it is believable it's not just like a list of fan fan theory or 
what is it like a, a a wishful thinking list that has all of these top hot stars on it it's not like that it's a very believable list that i'm just trying to vet a bit further and if we get confirmation on it i will press the upload button on this video so that is what i think about this suppose a bit of news we'll get this month i don't think we're going to get any sort of news related to the cast if we get anything now the last thing i want to talk about here is going to be smile 2. So the smile 2 trailer that came out yesterday did exactly what i expected for anyone that has been following me on twitter i said smile 2 had a scream star in it and the trailer confirmed drew barrymore's role in the upcoming sequel i think i originally tweeted this out in june so now being in september we just got confirmation that the smile to scream star cameo i was talking about is drew barrymore she's going to be playing herself so don't expect her to be a major player in the story by any means i preferred the first trailer i'm not gonna lie and for anyone worried about the ending being spoiled as someone who knows what it is i don't think i saw the ending anywhere in this film all i saw was drew barrymore and sky's accident i didn't see the ending anywhere but if they showed a certain thing that tr triggered you to kind of figure out what the ending is i don't know how you did that I, I didn't see anything in here that pointed to the ending sequence not at all <laughs> i didn't see anything and we also have a new single from sky riley dropping next week titled grieved for you i believe and it's already available to pre-save on apple and spotify from the sky riley nation page that's been active on twitter and instagram so if you're looking forward to that song make sure you pre-save it and again that corroborates another thing that i put out a few weeks ago in which i said that there's at least one other original song that naomi scott has recorded as sky riley for the upcoming smile 2. So you guys can let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section below. Are you looking forward to Alien Earth? What do you think about what is going on with that Dr. Loomis concept? What do you think about Smile 2? What are your thoughts on Scream 7? Let me know all that down below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.